to a fresh plowing in the springtime of the new age, with a fresh sowing of the seed which will let us pray and hope produce a better harvest. The outstanding evidence of the law of cause and effect is the Jewish race. All nations prove this law, but I choose to refer to the Hebrew peoples because their history is so well known and their future and their destiny are subjects of worldwide, universal concern. The Jews have copyright copyright 1998 Lucas Trust 156 a treatise on the seven rays volume 4 esoteric healing always had a symbolic significance they sum up in themselves as a nation down the ages the depths of human evil and the heights of human divinity their aggressive history as narrated in the old testament is on a par with present-day german accomplishments Yet Christ was a Jew and it was the Hebrew race which produced him. Let this never be forgotten. The Jews were great aggressors. They despoiled the Egyptians and they took the promised land at the point of the sword, sparing neither man, woman nor child. Their religious history has been built around a materialistic Jehovah, possessive, greedy and endorsing and encouraging aggression. Their history is symbolic of the history of all aggressors, rationalizing themselves into the belief that they are carrying out divine purpose, wresting away from people their property in a spirit of self-defense and finding some reason, adequate to them, to excuse the iniquity of their action. Palestine was taken by the Jews because it was a land flowing with milk and honey, and the claim was made that the act was undertaken in obedience to divine command. Later, the symbolism gets most interesting. They divided into two halves, the Israelites with headquarters at Samaria, and the Jews meaning two or three special tribes out of the twelve locating around Jerusalem. Dualism ran through their religious beliefs. They were schooled by the Sadducees or the Pharisees, and these two groups were in constant conflict. Christ came as a member of the Jewish race and they renounced him. Today the law is working, and the Jews are paying the price, factually and symbolically, for all they have done in the past. They are demonstrating the far-reaching effects of the law. Factually and symbolically, they stand for culture and civilization. Factually and symbolically, they are humanity. Factually and symbolically, they stand as they have ever chosen to stand, for separation. They regard themselves as the chosen people and have an innate consciousness of that high destiny, forgetting their symbolic role and that it is humanity which is the chosen people and not one small and unimportant fraction of the race. Factually and symbolically, they long for unity and cooperation, yet know not how to cooperate. Factually and symbolically, they are the eternal pilgrim, they are mankind, wandering through the mazes of the three worlds of human evolution, and gazing with longing eyes towards a promised land. Factually and symbolically, they resemble the mass of men, refusing to comprehend the underlying spiritual purpose of all material phenomena, rejecting the Christ within as they did centuries ago the Christ within their borders grasping for material good and steadily rejecting the things of the spirit. They demand the so-called restitution of Palestine, wresting it away from those who have inhabited it for many centuries, and by their continued emphasis upon material possession they lose sight of the true solution, which is that, symbolically and factually again, they must be assimilated into all the nations, and seized with all the races, thus demonstrating recognition of the one humanity.